हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन टू दिस लीड कोड सीरीज ऑन एस क्यू एल नाउ वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड अलॉट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम प्रॉब्लम वन सेवेंटी फाइव वन सेवेंटी सिक्स वन सेवेंटी एट वन एटी एटी वन एटी टू एटी थ्री एंड नाउ इन दिस सेशन वी विल बी सींग द प्रॉब्लम नंबर वन एटी फोर विच इज डिपार्टमेंट विथ हाइएस्ट सैलरी इफ यू हैव नॉट सीन द प्रीवियस प्रॉब्लम्स then do have a look at the previous videos which i'll provide even in the description uh, section so let me just open this 184 problem and let's see what exactly it says so the problem number 184 in lead code says that we have two tables employee table with four columns where we have employee id employee name employee salary and employee department let me show you how the data looks like so the id is 1 the name is joe salary of the employee is 70000 and department is 1 and we have a second table which is department table where we have department id and department name very simple department id is 1 and department name is it like that now you can see that department id is a foreign key here and id is a primary key that means these two tables we can join based on the department id and id column here right so this is how we can join these two now what exactly we need to find we need to find so let me just go there so write an sql query to find employees who have the highest salary in each of the department that means from each department whoever is having the highest salary we need to find that out so let me show you the result we want department name that is it and who is having the highest salary jim and what is the salary 90000 sales has again an employee called henry who is having a salary of 80000 and again if let's say in a department there are two highest salaries we need to show both that's fine so you can see max and jim both have the highest salary in it right and that's why we are showing both of them order of this is not something which is crucial i mean we can return the result in any order that means no order by or something is required so how do we approach this problem let me just take the sample data employee and department take it in my favorite notepad right and what is the answer we want let me take that also the output okay so this is what we want so we are looking at department department is nothing but department this name basically we are looking at this column employee which is nothing but this column and the maximum salary right the maximum salary from each department this is what we want which is nothing but this particular column how do we approach to write this query let me first create the skeleton of this query how do i create that i would say we want this name right so let me go to my lead code and i will say select select department dot name department dot name because this is one of the column i'm just creating a skeleton of it then we want employee which is nothing but this column right so this is nothing but employee dot name comma employee dot name comma and what we want salary salary is nothing but i mean this column which is only present in this particular table employee table so we can directly mention salary without any table name that's fine so select department dot name employee dot name comma salary from from of course these two tables what are these tables employee 
join department because of course join is required because uh, from a single table we are not able to get the answer right employee join department on what is the clause on which we want to join these two of course this department id in the employee table and this id in the department table so employee dot department id equal to department dot id on employee dot department id equal to department dot id department dot id if i run this query it is like a inner join and will give me all records what results i will get from this i'll just show you an example or or sample data that we will get now based on whatever query we have written we'll get this and along with this we will get uh, it so this one is nothing but it right so it it so this is how we will get the result if you can just see i'll just make it little neat this is what the result would be so here it was sorry it right so these two rows and even for this row it would be the same way for this row it will be again the same like this and same way for the these two records we will get or it will match the other one that is sales right and this would be is this one so roughly this would be the answer that we are going to kind of get but is this what we wanted no that means we have to filter this data based on based on the maximum salary for each department for it department 90000 was the salary that means we want these two records and for sales 80000 was the maximum salary so we, we want this record how do we do the filter we should be using the where clause and in that where we need to basically tell that okay i want for it basically 90000 this should be the match in the results and for sales it should be 80000 and any of this records so any of the records from this which qualifies these two criteria right where we have a combination of it and 90000 which is there in these two records and sales 80000 this record we will get so how do we filter we should be using the where clause let's do that so i will go back to my lead code i'll say where right where i want to filter based on combination of two columns right so we want to filter based on department id so let's just see department id right department id comma salary right we want to filter based on two columns department id and salary as we have seen previously in right we are saying it these two columns should be in whatever range we give or whatever thing we give here now we will write a select statement you will understand it once i write select select what we want we want department id and max salary right so we basically want something like okay one has department id one has maximum salary of 90000 that's what we want so select department id comma 
max max salary right we will name it as salary as salary from from what from which table employee table right we are getting the department id and max salary from employee table and of course we need to group by on department id right from employee group by department id right so what basically this line do let me take it to my notepad what this line will do is when i write this what exactly this do this will give me result something like 1 comma 90000 1 comma 90000 and then it will give me 2 comma 2 comma 80000 this is the result we will get from this and then definitely earlier we got these results it will search for these two 190,000 which is this one these two records and 280,000 which is this record and we get this as the answer as simple as that very straightforward so let me try running it if we do not have any uh, syntax issues it should be working fine let me run the code I think the naming we would have to change so the header we got is name name and salary but it expects department employee and salary so we will say as department as department right as employee right this is what it wanted and let me try seeing the result you can see this has been accepted now and let me try submitting it to see if it works or not and you can see the result has been accepted and it's working fine so this is our final query what we have done here we have done a inner join so that we get all the records after the join and then we are filtering based on the condition and in that condition we are checking two columns whenever this department id and salary matches give me that record otherwise please skip it so this is a good problem and i feel this should have given you a good clarity on how exactly we need to combine the where clause and the join and this gives you the right result so i hope you have liked the session and do subscribe to the channel if you want to not miss on the upcoming videos and i'll be coming up with more problems very very soon uh, and uh, if you have not watched my previous sessions on this lead code problems do have a look i'll provide the links in the description also so that it is handy for you so with this let me end this and i hope you liked it thanks a lot